TV. Now, I haven't got any uh, carburet studs. And with them being such an odd shape, it's an 8mm thread into the cylinder head. But it needs to be 6mm at the top to fit the carb on. And these are just two uh, Allen head bolts, or cap head bolts, if you call them. I'll just, I'll just chop the ends off. So I can't get the. See, I can only get the, the carb on so far. I've just done this until I get some proper studs. Just so I can mark on the head all the uh, alloy material I need to remove with the uh, carb insulator being a bigger diameter. So I've got a permanent marker, and all I'll do is I'll just hold this in place and I'll just mark off all the material I need to I need to remove. If you bear with me a second. Right then, see you. So there you go, that's all the material I need to remove. Quite close to the top part here, a couple of mil. Be careful when I'm working around there, but the rest of it will be fine. And um, <coughs> I won't, I won't try and attempt to take that diameter really deep into the head, because I'll just be too much work and messing around. I'll just uh, about the last centimetre or so near you know, this face, I'll just start to taper it, smooth it round, just to help improve the airflow. So that's that for now. So basically to uh, remove that material it's just a lot of elbow grease with a round file. Uh, I don't know, it's probably going to take me probably going to take me a good hour. So I'll just keep at it. Right then pretty much all done with that there then. Um, so as you saw I'm filing out a rough shape with a round file to match the carb insulator and then just to smooth it over I went over with some uh, some rough sandpaper, glass paper and then some fine glass paper and then just to polish it all up I've, I've gone mad with a teacup so it feels really smooth um, it's a bit much a trumpet effect, so I've not I've not gone at a complete angle till I've worn down the ink. I've probably taken about two mil on a taper, and then I've, I've at a sharper angle I've created a trumpet effect. So if I just quickly some of these cut down bolts in. Here's the other one. There it is. On. And you can't really see it's all dark down there. It's just quite outside in the sunlight. So I, I did the black ink with the carbon shader pushed towards me because obviously it was very the very thin alloy there. So I got pushed towards me. So. So the trumpet isn't too bad. It's not. It's not spot on. I might do a bit more work on it, but it's a lot better than what it was anyway. It's definitely going to breathe a lot better. See you. That's it for now.